2001 and last year it uh, hosted the World Snooker China Championships. What an event that was. That was won by Mark Selby, three-time world champion. Thrilling final against John Higgins, 10-9 in the final. It's been the scene for the Badminton World Championships of 2013, used for the Asian Games. And in fact, earlier this year, uh, this very arena was used for the Basketball World Cup. And what an event that was. Won by Spain. That was an Olympic qualifying event. Right in the heart of Guangzhou, as you can see, the Tian He Stadium. This is the, the second year that this city and the Tian He Gymnasium is playing host to the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. And in fact, we'll have another two years at this magnificent venue after this year as well. So after the women's doubles, we turn our attention to men's doubles and its former champions. In fact, two-time former champions, Mohamed Hassan and Hedendra Setiawan, who also happen to be the reigning world champions. They're up against the left and right-handed combination of Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han of Chinese Taipei. After that, we'll have men's singles and then mixed doubles, and we'll finish with a second a men's singles. Incidentally, every single one of our matches in uh, this first session of the day involve Group B encounters. And as I was telling you earlier, all uh, five disciplines, the eight players and pairs, are divided into two groups, A and B, and everybody plays everyone else for the first three days before we can determine the semi-finalists for the knockout stage, which of course is on Saturday, and the finals on Sunday. But uh, the players will be getting ready for this uh, men's uh, doubles. And uh, when we look at a Sun and Setia one, a very established uh, combination, 30 career finals, winning 18 titles and three world titles in those 18 career titles together. Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han, uh, well, they are a newer combination and they have been in eight finals, winning three uh, titles. The last titles they won were three years ago. In fact, the very last title they won was the Prague International Challenger event of 2016. But they're a consistent pair and a great supporter of the world tour is the pair from Chinese Taipei. And they're always good value to watch reach the final of the very first World Tour event this year. That was the Thailand Masters Super 300. In fact, it was their second consecutive time in the final of that particular event. So the players making their way onto court. And as they do so, I can tell you that in this Group B, Asan and Setia won. Uh, they won their match yesterday in a repeat of the All England final against Aaron Cha and So Wu Eek. And uh, Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han lost their match yesterday. So there's more importance, I guess, for the pair from Taipei to win today's encounter because if they lose two matches in two days, then their chances of qualifying for the semi final stage are at the very best. A slim. Well, this will be just the second meeting in, uh, between these two pairs, and I was very surprised by that statistic when I was researching in the early hours this morning uh, because they've both been regulars on the World Tour for some considerable time now. But the only previous meeting, which was in the second round of last year's India 500 event, it was won by a son and set he won 21 15, 21 10 in just 30 minutes. And I have to say that Hassan and Seti won, uh, do tend to uh, play very quick matches an awful lot of the time. They win their matches, but they don't particularly like to play long rallies. So they try to keep the rallies short, and it makes for very exciting, dynamic play. 
Now, immediately we can see that Mohamed Osman has uh, got strapping outside of his compression stockings on his right calf muscle. And that's a little bit of concern because he has had problems with his right calf. 32 years of age, as you can see, born in Palembang in South Sumatra. Currently world number twos, but they have been world number ones. 38 consecutive weeks from the 21st of November 2013. Three times world champions, and in fact, Hendra Setia won, won his fourth world title, because he's also won a world title with Marcus Kido. He won his fourth world title on his 35th birthday. Born in Palmalang in central Java, and they are making their fifth appearance at the end of the year championships. Now, that just confirms what I was telling you a little earlier, that they beat Cha and So in a repeat of the All England final. But unlike the All England final, it was two straight games in yesterday's first group match. So to the pair from Chinese Taipei and Lu Qingyao, the taller of the two men. He's 26 years of age, born in Taichung. And they have been as high as 10 in the world ranking, but they're 17 in the world at the moment. Uh, but they have played 29 ranking tournaments in the last 12 months. They really do play an awful lot of badminton. And as I say, great supporters of the HSBC BWF World Tour. The left-hander, Yang Po Han, is a year younger at the age of 25. Uh, born in uh, Kaohsiung. He's a great fisherman. He likes sea fishing, does this young man, in his spare time. But he doesn't have much spare time, and I'll tell you more about that uh, a little later. Making their first appearance at the end of season championships, the pair from Chinese Taipei. Uh, they lost their first match uh, against Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin, the number four seeds, also from Chinese Taipei. And uh, that's an interesting fact in itself, because it's the first time ever, I do beg your pardon, it's the second time, second consecutive year, that two pairs from Chinese Taipei have reached the World Tour Finals. Two pairs in the men's doubles discipline, I should emphasise. Kelly Hall from Australia is our umpire for this one, and Klaus Schlieben of Austria, the service judge. Time former champions Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. Those are the reigning world champions nearest to us as we look down on the court. Won their end of season championships in Kuala Lumpur in 2013 and then two years later when the event was staged in Dubai. Last year they finished third in their group. Mm, that's well left. Longest rally so far. Is it four shots? No. Oh, here we go. It's still not terribly long, is it? And I said they like to keep the rallies short.
Yeah, well finished off. It's a great start by the reigning world champions. Yeah. That's absolutely imperative. They get themselves on the attack, hitting in a downward direction. This pair from Chinese Taipei. I was telling you, they've been playing an awful lot of tournaments. They have played 28 individual tournaments in 2019, uh, plus two team competitions, the Tongyang Kai Cup and the Sudaman Cup. They didn't actually play a match in the Sudaman Cup, but they were in Nanning, so they were on the road. So that's, they've been on the road for 30 weeks throughout this year. Started week two at the Thailand Masters where they reached the final and they finished the a badminton year prior to these World Tour finals at the Korean Masters. That's 47 weeks, 30 tournaments over 46 consecutive weeks. And in fact, uh, they actually, since their home event, the Chinese Taipei Super 300, he's just missed that, all oh, they're challenging. That was called out. So from the Chinese Taipei Super 300, they actually played 11 tournaments over a 12-week period, the pair from Chinese Taipei. So when I say they play a lot, that... Ooh, it was clearly in. That was clearly in, my goodness. That's a good challenge. Ten, three, play. So 11-3, it's all happened in double quick time, hasn't it? Four minutes. And we're to the mid-game interval. Harry Pernagi, coach. My goodness, how many wonderful men's doubles players have been produced over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, we have next mixed doubles. Let's wake up the technical officials. Umpire, Wat Iana from Indonesia. Service charge, Gerald Russell from Canada. Oh, that's well played. That stayed in. Well, it's just total domination at the moment from the world champions. Seti Wan's actually making his seventh appearance here at the end of season championships. This is only the 12th ever. Just shows how consistent he's been over the year. In 
fact, he played in the first ever end of season championships in 2008 in Kota Kinabalu, reached the semi final with Marcus Kido. Oh, it was an opportunity for the big man, so Li Ching Yao. Oh, yes, that's clever placement. Mohamed Hassan caught committed to his backhand defence and then was too late to swap and change to his forehand defence. That's good awareness by the pair from Taipei. Oh, goodness me. They both hesitated, uh, both Lu and Yang, expecting the other to play that awfully loose shot from a son. Opportunities. And we're not even ten minutes into the match. Service over ten twenty. Wow. Yeah. Game. Second time of asking. And the world champions close out the opening yes, game 21 and 9. 21 10. 21 10, I do beg your pardon. And we are, in fact, now just about 10 minutes into the match. But that opening game won in double quick time. <laughs>
Well, the Indonesians have the distinction of uh, being one of only two pairs to win the end of season championships two times or even more times. The other pair, Matthias Boll and Karsten Morgensen, they actually won it three times, three consecutive times, 10, 11 and 12. The Yong Day actually won two titles, but won it with two different partners. Jung Jae Sung, he won the end of season championships in 2009. And then in 2014 in Dubai, he won with Yu Young Sung. But this pair, one of only two pairs to win the end of season championship more than once in the men's doubles discipline. to this pair from Chinese Taipei because they really weren't in the opening game at all. And I think first and foremost they've got to focus on hitting the shuttle in a downward direction. Force your opponents to lift with little blocks or net shots. No, I suppose it all starts, as both Steen and Morton keep telling me, from the service situation. You can see the return of serve there from Mohamed Hassan. He was immediately attacking that low serve, which meant that the pair from uh, Taipei were immediately having to defend. So that's the difficulty. How do you get yourselves on the attack within the rally if your opponents are returning so well? Now they have the opportunity. Yeah, a beautiful block. And Indonesians turn their defence into attack immediately. Here we go. This is what the pair from Taipei near to need to do more of. What a contrast, start of this second game. Five, one. Oh, not the best of serve. Yeah, got punished for it. What a difference when they're on the attack for the left and right handed combination. They were a little nervous at the start. This pair of Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han are certainly playing much better now. Seven, 
No. Yeah, that shuttle got badly deflected Five. by hitting the top of the Eight. tape. It wasn't just a fresh air shot from Lu Ching Yao. Yeah, crikey, that was a big deflection. Seven, four. Oh, service fault pulled on Hendra Setiawan. too long it was the perfect Seven, idea six, That's great skill from set here one. You know, that wasn't such Nine. a bad net shot oh. from Yang Po, from uh, Lu Ching Yao, but he just brushed over the top of the shuttle. And I reckon he may have even hit the feathers first. And when you manage to control the shuttle by hitting the feathers first, then that's very rare. Your timing has to be absolutely perfect. Extraordinary shot. Oh. Yeah, good placements. On the smash from Lu Ching Yao. Eight, seven, nine. Oh, clever, clever, clever defense uh, from Muhammad Hassan. It is not just the technicality. How on earth can he have the vision from there to see that the gap was a cross-court block towards the left-hander? Oh, yeah, that's a good shot from Yang Po Han. And indeed, it is Yang and his partner, Li Ching Yao, who have the advantage at the mid-game interval. Albeit just one point advantage. An advantage is an advantage. And psychologically, that makes a big difference. Chin Hong Ling, the coach with the glasses. He was playing in this event a year ago with Wang Chi Lin. Got you 20 seconds. Got you 20 seconds. In fact, the semi-final stage lost the eventual champions, Li Chenghui and Li Yu Chen, a year ago. Year on, he's coaching the team. Oh, yes. Well, I said they were a fun pair to watch. And this left-hander is a great character. 
Mind you, his partner, Liu Ching Yao, is never afraid to throw himself around the court. That's a terrific play. Quick on to the third shot. Yeah. Five straight points. Yeah, right on cue. There's a dive from the big man, so Lu Ching Yao. Well judged. 12-15. What a great serve. I couldn't follow up on it. out well are we going to go to a third game okay. after the way the Indonesian pair totally dominated in the opening game I didn't think we that could be a, a real possibility there's that little brush shot again from Hendra Setia one really is delightful that time on the return of serve it's almost like a little top spin shot Oh, my goodness. Oh! Would you believe it? Well, he doesn't miss many of those, Mohammed Hassan. What a great save, this one, off the net court from Setia one. And then the much easier opportunity missed by a son. There's just going through a bit of a bad patch at the moment is Mohammed Hassan. They left it too late in this second game. The world champions. No, I wouldn't put anything past a sign than Seti one. Extraordinary players and seem to get themselves out of trouble on endless occasions. But it is game point opportunities so for Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han to level 15. this Group B encounter at one game apiece. Oh, there's a challenge here. A pair from Chinese Taipei are already at their kit boxes, ready to change ends. And it was in. So it's one game all. Game. Second game. 
to Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han. Twenty-one fifteen confirmed by the umpire. Twenty-seven minutes into the match. Extraordinary. when you consider our first match today, the women's doubles, and the opening game of the women's doubles took two minutes longer than the two games here in the men's doubles. It's a tough old discipline, these women's doubles. Physically demanding. Men's doubles more about the explosive power and power of the smash, fast reactions at the net. Well, here's a fun fact about this pair as they return to court. The two years that they won their two previous world titles, the gold medals at World Championships, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiwan later on that year, went on to win this event, the end of year finale. In fact, they're one of only two reigning world champions in the men's doubles discipline to actually win the end of year championship. The other pair was the first ever Chinese winners of the men's doubles title, and that was last year. Li Junhui and Liu Yu Chen. Final game. Love all. Play. So third and deciding game. Oh, what defence from Seti one. Well, he did well to even get his racket to it, let alone to control it and play the perfect cross-court block. That's amazing. Oh, yes, good placement of the smash from Setia One. Of course, he's won an Olympic title 2008 in Beijing with Marcus Kido. Oh, just seem to have upped the pace of their smashes in the last two rallies. Two terrific smashes from each of the Indonesian players. Yeah, well taken. for two players in their 30s to have had one of the best years of their careers in 2019, the Indonesians. Testament to their skill and their enthusiasm still for the sport. How on earth did he miss that? 
Young Paul Han. Five, Ten two. finals this year for the Indonesians. They're winning three titles, including the World Championships, which means that Young. nine World Young. Tour Young. tournament finals are winning two you titles. Ready quickly. Nine finals from 16 World Tour tournaments. And that really is remarkable. Oh, he's missed another one. Oh, my goodness. Those two misses could be very costly indeed. I do beg your pardon. I thought he'd missed it. Out. So it's just short of the mark. First service error of the match by the pair from Chinese Taipei. Oh my goodness, how did he get that back? Gosh, he took a while on that serve. Made his opponent wait. Mm. Got to be a good net shot to take on Seti one at the front of the court. And that simply wasn't good enough from the left-hander. the defensive qualities. Amazing rally. And the longest rally of the match so far too. 30 shots. Good return. Yeah, but what good drive defense. The sun. Only really never, after his smash, never really got himself back on balance.
Oh, yes. Well, right at the front of the court from Mohammed Hassan. So it is a four point advantage for wow. Mohammed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan at the change of ends. But the pair from Chinese Taipei are going to finish the match at the end where they played much better. So this is far from over yet. Never really looks panicked, the Indonesian coach, but then neither of the players ever really look that panicked. They look very secure in their own abilities and very relaxed, even though they might be in trouble in a match. What a great defensive shot from Yang Pohan. That's fantastic. You gotta love it, haven't you? Yeah, it's difficult Service to control over. those drives from this near side 12, of the court. Nine. You're hitting with the drift, and that's what happens. Shuttle has a tendency to go long of that far back line. Very Six tight. confusion in that rally between so Hassan and Seti One. Who was going for the first drive? 14. This one. We've got to credit their opponents for that misunderstanding.
Okay, the sheer threat of Hendra Seti, one coming forward there, forced opponents into error. Wipe the court. Plays the drop shot, moves forward, and that's a real threat to any opponent. Service errors and a service fault from Hendra Satyawan. Oh, the lucky net cord for the former Olympic service champion. Over. important that little piece of good fortune will prove Thank to you. be in the outcome of this match. game this man Yang Pohan has got more and more 16. involved if especially at the front of the court oh my goodness me that's made a difference within the rallies well, we went through a bad patch in the second game did Mohammed Hassan it was a loose serve, but he made an error on the return. Yeah, it's all getting very tight. <laughs> it's understandable. Scoreboard pressure. Getting towards the end of the match. All the players know how important every point is. I said they were good value to watch Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han. What a dive from Lu. Look at that. Total commitment. Yeah, and then Yang Po Han seemed to go a little bit of wheel spin there. So a three-point advantage for Hassan and Sergio One and three points away from Thank when he was third and deciding game. Total commitment going forward. Apologises for hitting his opponent, but it was a wonderful take that by Yang Pohan. Turn to the flick serve. How quick was Yang Pohan to get back for that? 17, 
fabulous. It's only two points in it. There's one point in it now in this deciding game. Who would have thought after the opening game that was done and dusted in just 10 minutes that this would develop into such a thriller? you like. So Twenty match points. Two match 18. point opportunities for the two time former champions, Asan and Sergio One. But not yet. Amazing. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, what a final rally. And therefore, the world champions, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sediwan, closed it out 21-19 in the deciding game. What a fabulously entertaining men's doubles encounter. But it means that Hassan and Sadia won, played two matches, won two matches. Well, that was the final little block, but earlier in the rally, here we go. There was some extraordinary retrieving by the left and right-handed combination. But in the end, it was the change of pace from Hendra Setiawan that did the damage. So, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan win their second match in the group. 21-10, 15-21, 21-19 in the deciding game.